back to my channel. If you're new here, hi and welcome. I'm Joanne. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm super excited for today's video because I'm going to be showing you how to draw three different types of roses. These look really complicated, but they're actually really straightforward, so beautiful, and I'm going to break it down step by step for you guys. So I'm going to show you how to create each different type of rose and then I'm going to show you how I used each type to create different Mother's Day cards. I've created two cards for each rose, so we have six cards in total. I've been making handmade cards since I was young. I just love it. I think it's so much more personal than a store-bought card. So I'm really excited to share this with you guys and I hope you enjoy this video. So in today's video, I'm going to be using a few different things. I'm going to be using, first of all, a black fine liner. This one's from Faber Castell. Um, it's one of my favorite fine liners. Um, by no means do you need this one. This is just the one I like. Um, this is their 0.1 thickness. It's their XS. It's the smallest one they have. And as you can see, it's very fine tip. So I really like this one. And then in, for coloring things in, I'm going to be using the Crayola markers, but you can use any markers or color pencils, anything you have. Um, I have their 50 pack and I think it's it was like under 15 Canadian dollars. So super good value. I really like these markers. They have a really nice chisel tip at the end so you can get pretty sharp lines and you can also color in larger areas. So I think these are great, but you can use whatever you have. I'm going to link all the products I've used in the description below, so you can check that out if you'd like. All right, so grab your paper, grab your pen, and let's get right to it. All right, so first up is rose number one. It's this one over here, and it's the one that's sort of standing upright where you can see the stems and it's blossoming. This is perfect if you want to draw like a bouquet or maybe you want to draw like a vertical layout. This one's really good. And I decided to use this rose as like a line drawing to make a sort of boho line drawing effect on my cards. So you can draw this rose and leave it black and white. It looks kind of cool black and white and then shade it in. You can also add color like I've done in this one here. And I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Start by drawing some concentric circles. So start with this little circle in the middle and then go around in a few layers like this. Then you're going to add two front petals and this is the real speed that I drew it at. So add these two front petals and then you can go in and fill in the back of the rose with these sort of petals. And there's no exact science to it, just do what kind of feels and looks right to you. The more random and organic, the better anyways. Then add another set of front petals a little bit below the first set. And then you can draw in the base of the rose here. And once you've done this, you can just fill in the empty space and add in some extra petals. You can make it a bigger rose, you can make it a smaller one, it's totally up to you. But once you're happy with the rose and how it's looking, you can add the leaves. Make the leaves a little bit more like flat and elongated because remember you're looking at this rose from the front view and then you can add a stem and you have a beautiful rose. And that's the first one done. If you want to add a bit of color, I've chosen three colors in sort of the same color family and I've started with the darkest one in the center and then sort of worked my way outwards to create this effect here where I have the darkest one in the center, then the medium color and then the lightest color on the outside. You can also leave it black and white and that gives a really cool effect as well. And that's actually what I've decided to do in the cards I'm about to show you. For the first of the line drawing cards, I'm going to be doing a sort of boho theme. So I'm adding these like sort of random splotches. I would suggest to choose a color theme. So I've chosen a sort of pink and brown earth tones theme. And you just add these like blobs all over the page. You can add more if you want it to be a bit busier or you can add less. I think I've sort of gone for something in the middle. But I've added these pink and brown splotches. I'm also adding a few open splotches as well. And now it's time to do the actual drawing. So I'm doing the rose that we just saw adding the side petals and then the center circle petals as well and then i'm going in and adding the base of the rose and once i'm happy with the rose i'm going to add the leaves and then the stem going down to the page and now in order to create this sort of line drawing boho effect i'm going to be taking each section and kind of cutting it in half with a line and then shading half of it. So you can see I've shaded the bottom half of each leaf and then I'm kind of cutting each petal in half and shading that with some hatching. And so I'm doing that for each of the sections and then for the concentric rings in the circle, I just alternated shading them or not shading them. Then I colored in the full stem as well and then here I'm adding a few more leaves and I'm using the same technique of cutting them in half and shading them to give this really cool boho look. 
And now for the font, I'm writing, I'm keeping it really simple because there's kind of a lot going on in the background. Just writing Happy Mother's Day in cursive font for mother and basic block lettering for the happy end day. And now for the inside of the card, I'm going to be doing the opposing corners, so the bottom right and top left corners. This is a really good trick, I think, to add some interest without being too much on the inside and also saves you some time. And then I'm not going to draw the rose just to save some time, I'm just going to draw some leaves, but use the same technique and cut each leaf in half and shade that in to match the inside with the cover of the card. And for the second card of these line drawings, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm first mapping out the shape and pencil of the background that I want to do. I don't want to cover the entire face of the card. And then I've selected, as you saw there, a rainbow of colors. So I'm starting with yellow and then going to move through reds and pinks. And so here I'm adding them within that shape that I just sketched out in pencil. So it's not going to cover the full page. And then I'm adding each color in a layer. And I know it looks a bit rough now, but don't worry too much about the edges. I'm going in now and kind of cleaning up the edges and adding a little bit more color on each la layer to blend them a little bit better. And then directly on top of that, I'm gonna draw our roses. So I'm drawing the concentric circles, the outer petals, and then the base of the flower like we did. Um, and this one I'm adding some leaves like this and adding a stem. You can see I've already drawn one on the left, so I've done two slightly different ones. And then just like before, cutting each section or each leaf in half and shading in half of it. And then for the concentric rings, I'm just alternating shading or not shading. So once I've shaded all that in, I'm adding some more leaves, cutting them in half just like we did before. And then I decided to add some grass at the bottom and write Happy Mother's Day in a really simple and small font. And for the inside of this card, I'm just going to do a rainbow frame, sort of same rainbow effect as I did on the front. I think I got a bit carried away, I'm not sure, but anyways. And I'm going to add a couple leaves in the bottom right corner, try to keep it simple, and that's it for this card. sort of watercolor abstract effect and that's this one in the middle i've shown this in black and white but it probably looks even better with color like it does in this example here and for this one you're gonna need three different colors i would suggest to choose three in the same color family so choose like three reds three pinks three oranges something like that and then you start with the darkest color in the center and we're gonna work our way outwards for example, if you're going with oranges, choose like three colors like this. So you have the darkest one in the center, then you have this one in the middle, and then this one on the outer edge. And that gives sort of like 3D, gives a bit of dimension to the drawing. For this one, we're gonna be doing these sort of abstract looking lines and going in concentric circles. So I'm just gonna show you how I did it in black first so you can get the idea of the shape. So start with like a few in the middle and see how I'm going around in these concentric circle layers definitely don't line up the lines you want it to be very random and organic looking and vary the thickness of some lines so you see some parts are thicker than others the more random the better and that will make it look like this sort of like abstract watercolor effect and when we add colors it will look even more like a, a sort of watercolor rose And that's the second rose. So I've shown you how to sort of do it with just with a black marker and then I'm going to show you now how I've applied this on my Mother's Day cards and I've used color for both of the cards I'm making with this type of rose so you'll see how I do that but pick the three colors and start with the darkest one in the center. We're going to start out with the watercolor pattern and for this card I'm going to be covering the whole page with the watercolor flowers and then writing directly on top of it. So I've already done a red and a pink rose and now I'm adding an orange rose. So just like before, we're putting the dark color in the center and then going around in these concentric circles, getting lighter and lighter as we go to the outside. I'm adding leaves here and I'm sort of doing it at random. Like I don't want there to be any pattern or it to look like organized. The more random and organic, the better. So now I'm just gonna cover the entire page with roses and try to mix up the colors so I don't have two roses of the same color next to each other. And we're just going to cover the entire page with these beautiful watercolor roses. Now that I've covered the whole 
front page of the card with these roses. I'm gonna go in and write Happy Mother's Day. Um, I chose this cursive font. In hindsight, I wish I chose a bit of a stronger font because I feel like it sort of gets lost against the watercolor roses. So that's why I'm going back in and thickening all the strokes, but I do feel like it got a bit washed out. So it might be smart to use a block letter font instead, but anyways. That's the cover page. And now for the inside, I'm just gonna add a couple more roses in the bottom right corner. This is one of my favorite things to do on the inside of cards. And I just added in this little frame and here's our first card. For the second card, we're gonna be using the same watercolor theme. And I'm gonna do a straight line of watercolor roses across the sort of bottom third of the card. So I'm starting out with an orange and pink rose. I haven't done this color combination yet. Starting with like a sort of salmon in the middle and then going out to orange on the outside. Then here I'm doing a darker pink one and I'm gonna continue these along the length of the card. I'm writing in happy mother's day i've written in mother in this sort of block font and then happy and day are going to be in the cursive font and then i'm going to go add another line on the side of each stroke just to i don't know just for a bit of interest i think it looks quite nice here and then i'm going to use that salmon ish color i think it's really nice color and i'm going to color in the letters here For the inside of this card, I'm going to be making a frame. This is another really good technique to design the inside of the card. I'm just adding a couple leaves in each corner and then this dashed line. And then the pink and green was giving me sort of watermelon vibes, so I added a bit of orange as well. And this is the second card. And the third and final rose is probably my personal favorite. It's this one over here. And in color, it looks something like this. I think this one is just so beautiful. It looks really difficult, but actually it's so simple and it just looks so beautiful. The cards I created are my favorite of the whole set, so I'm super excited for this one. To start this one, draw a sort of like slightly deformed circle with a line through it, and then add these petals in the first layer with this sort of like dent in the middle. And we're just gonna keep adding petals in layers going around it. But again, just like before, you don't want it to be like organized or have the lines lined up. The more random and organic looking, the better. And you can do as many layers as you want to make the rose as big as you want here. Another variation, so this one sort of looks like you're looking at it from the top, but another variation is a bit more like looking at it head on. So it starts the same way with the circle and a few layers, but on maybe the third or fourth layer, start to make the petals a little bit bigger on the side towards you than on the top. So here the petals on the bottom are getting significantly bigger than the petals on the top. And then we're gonna add these lines and this gives the illusion that the rose is opening up towards you. And then to add leaves, just like the first rose we did, these leaves are gonna be a little bit more kind of thinner and elongated because we're looking at the rose head on. And now to apply some color to that, I again chose three colors of the same family started with the darkest one in the center and worked my way outwards to get this really beautiful rose over here. So you can see I have the darkest one in the center and then I sort of worked my way outwards and tried to blend it a little bit as well. So you're going to see now a few different examples of how I'm adding color to this rose on my Mother's Day cards. For the first card, I'm going to do a really simple sort of circular drawing. So I sketched out a circle just in pencil so that I have a bit of a rough guide. But I'm starting by drawing my roses. And for this card, I'm going to draw all the roses in the first variation, sort of from that top view. And I decided to add two different types of leaves. I'm not sure if this is exactly like botanically correct, but I think they look really nice. So I'm adding them anyways. And then I'm going to be connecting my roses with these stems. Again, not sure if this is totally botanically correct, but I think it looks really nice. So I'm gonna do this sort of like wreath of roses and leaves and just drawing a bunch of different roses, varying the size and I'm gonna be varying the shape and color as well. You could go all the way around, but to be honest, I sort of ran out of patience drawing these. So I decided to just make it sort of the bottom half and then just draw the rest of the circle. So now I'm adding some color. You can see I start with the dark color in the middle and then sort of blend and work my way outwards to the lighter colors as I go. So now I'm just coloring in the leaves and then we're gonna write Happy Mother's Day in very simple font. Um, I wanted to keep this card really classic and elegant. So I think it looks really beautiful. And then on the inside to go with the outside, I'm adding two roses in the corner and then I'm just drawing a really simple frame around them. And 
And finally, the last card for this video, I'm going to be using the second variation now of this rose where they open sort of towards us. And I wanted to do like a sort of okay look in the bottom corner of the front page of the card. So I've drawn out the rose with the leaves opening towards us and I'm going to be adding the stem sort of going downwards toward the page. So it's sort of like the rose is standing up a little bit and opening up towards us. And I'm going to be adding a whole bunch just like before with different sizes, different leaves and different colors as well. I'm going to color in the stems now and I think that the sort of black stem makes it, gives it a little bit more dimension and a little bit more of a wow factor. I'm really loving how this looks and I think it would look really great as just a black and white drawing as well. I'm going to be coloring them in just because I think it looks nicer for a Mother's Day card but I also really love the effect of this black and white rose drawing too. So once again I'm keeping the font simple, um, I want it to have a similar sort of aesthetic to the previous card. And then, same as the previous card, I'm going to start by coloring the darkest color in the center and work my way outwards. But in this case, there's going to be more light color on the bottom because of the way the leaves are opening towards us. So make sure that you don't center the dark color. You want to put it a little bit further upwards so that the leaves opening towards you on the page have more light color. And that will help with the dimension and the illusion that the leaves are opening up towards us. And then you could leave it here, but I decided to add these little like petals and leaves that are kind of like floating or drifting um, and coloring those in. Then the inside of the card, I, I normally would just do a frame, but I've done a lot of frames already in this video. So I tried to do something a little bit unusual and I'm making these sort of like hanging branches from the top of the card and then adding a couple flowers to that. And then again, adding those like falling leaves and petals to match the front of the card. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be posting these sample pictures on my Instagram as well as step-by-step -step breakdowns of how to draw the three types of roses. I'll be posting that on my Instagram, which is linked in the description box below. So be sure to follow me there um, to revisit these roses and also post a lot of other content on there as well. I'm also going to link all the products I used in this video in the description below. So if you're wondering what I've been using, you can check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you enjoy your Mother's Day this year as well. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe down below if you found this video helpful and I'll see you guys next time. Bye friends!